Lord God, I pray you'd roll reproach right off of people's lives today. And God, I just thank you, Lord God, for a miraculous touch of your word to speak life into dead places today. And put life in us, God. Lord Jesus, we thank you for an amazing time in your word today. And Lord, I surrender myself to you and I just declare, Lord God, that it's not by might nor by power, but by your spirit. Amen. We want your spirit to move through this message. So God, I pray that, that you would put the unction of your function in this message today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Say amen. amen. All right. The title of the message is Roll Back Declaration. Roll back declaration. Roll back the reproach. Roll back the reproach. And you're going, great, Pastor, but what's reproach mean? I'm going to tell you. Are you ready? Okay. Carrying blame, disgrace, shame, dishonor, feel of disapproval, the feeling of disapproval or disappointment. A lot of people have been disappointed with themselves. I just, why did I do what I did? And, and, and beat yourself up over and over. And God wants to roll reproach right off of you. You might say, I don't think I have reproach. You'd be surprised what little vein of reproach still hangs on. Mm -hmm. And God is wanting to roll it off of you totally. To go into the promised land, the Israelites had to have the reproach rolled off of them. It was 450 years of being in bondage in Egypt. And they needed, when they came out, they're used to being beat up. They're used to being bossed, mistreated, and losing. And there's a lot of people that have gone through so many things in their life. They feel like they've lost so much. And they're always losing. They're not winning. They're not getting over the top. And God is saying to you today, I'm rolling off the reproach. Amen. I'm rolling it right off of you. Because I want you to go into the promised land. Amen. I got some promised lands for you. And you can't have reproach. It's going to hold you down and hold you back. And God is wanting us to have that off of our life. Sometimes you get hit so hard by things. You feel like you've just been blitzed. You've been blasted with a, a left hook and a right cross. And you're stunned. And the Tweety Birds are going right around your head. And you're going like, I've been hit so hard by this circumstance, by this situation. I've been blasted. And I just don't know what to do anymore. Because I feel like I've just been losing. Been losing and losing and losing. And God is saying to you, you've won. Amen. Because I won for you. Amen. I won for you. I, I took your place. I took your place of failure. I carried it on the cross of Calvary. I, I carried it. I took it. I took the reproach that was on you. And I put it on myself. The Lord Jesus would say, I carried that on the cross so that you wouldn't have to carry a reproach. You wouldn't have to keep saying, why did I do that? Why did I live this way? Why did this happen? I should have not done that. And you go over and over again in your mind. Amen, God. What you could have, should have, and would have done. But it's too late. But guess what? It's a new day. Amen. Amen. It's a new day. Yes. And God wants to declare on you a rollback declaration. Mm -hmm. You're free. Mm. You're forgiven. 
whom the Son sets free right. is free indeed. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen? So, you ever heard that statement, let the chips fall where they may? Yeah, thank you, God. May the chip that's been on our shoulder fall off yeah. where it may. It's not sticking on me anymore. Amen. I actually love myself. Praise God. And that's a miracle. Amen. No, that's progress. <laughs> <laughs> but I do because I saw myself the way God sees me. Yes. I got a glimpse of it. Mm-hmm. And now, now I'm never the same. Mm. I'm never the same. Amen. Because I'm not walking in reproach. Right. It's off of me. Yeah, made some mistakes, made a lot of mistakes, lots of stuff in my life, in my past. The past is free, it's forgiven, it's covered by Jesus Christ. Would you walk today without reproach? Would you let it roll right off of you? Because God wants it off of your life today. Amen. You go, you know, I don't know what kind of stuff is on me, but I do feel something at times where I still feel some shame. I feel, I still feel some discouragement and disappointment. And God's wanting to just roll that right off of you. Genesis 30, verse 23. Rachel said, and she conceived and, and bore a son. And said, God hath taken away my reproach. Taken away my reproach. God replaced the reproach with the son. And God is a God of replacement. He's going to replace reproach with something better. Something good. Something valuable. Something that has life in it. He wants to give that to you today. It says in 1 Samuel 17, 26, talking about David asked the men standing near him, what will we be done for the man who kills the Philistine and removes the disgrace from Israel, removes this disgrace and reproach from Israel? You see, there was a disgrace and a reproach on Israel the whole Israelite community. This giant was blasting out profanity and speaking curses against the Israelites and they were afraid to stand up. Afraid to stand up. And God used a shepherd boy. And he stood up because the reproach is going to be removed. I'm going to have it removed from here. I'm going at this giant. Who who think who do you think he is anyway? Mm-hmm. That he stand before the living God mm-hmm. for the armies of Israel. Yeah, the Antichrist. Yeah. He's going down. You gotta look at some reproach and say, it's going down. It has no place in my life. Went down, yes. No place in my life. I'm yeah. not gonna hold on to this stuff. Mm. I'm gonna walk into the blessings. There's promised lands for me. I got to be able to not walk with disgrace. It's got to have to be rolled right off of my life. It says in Psalm 39, verse 8, Deliver me from all my transgressions. Make me not the reproach of the foolish. And then Psalm 69, verse 20, David said, Reproach hath broken my heart, and I am full of heaviness, and I looked for some to take pity, but there was none, and for comforters, but I found none. He got at some low places in his life, and he had to remind himself, you know, I'm not getting it from a person, I'm getting it from God, that reproach is coming off of me. Amen. Because everywhere I go, reproach kept coming back on me. You know, everywhere you go, there's going to be somebody talking something about you that they don't like. Something about you that's going to try to put that reproach back on you again 
after it has come off. You got to not receive that in right. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 A perpetual reproach needs to go on the double and not stick on people, Amen. not stick on us. Amen. So the Israelites, for 450 years, they're used to losing. They were used to losing. Don't get into a position you're used to just losing. And you look in a position that's like, well, this is, looks like this is my lot. This is my lot. Just continually blowing it, making mistakes, feeling guilty, remorse and disapproval and disappointment coming back on my life. And the God, God wants to say, you know what? I'm, your spiritual eyelids might have been sagging but I'm going to put some life back inside of you today. I'm going to put some life back inside of you. Amen? Amen. You might have felt scarred and traumatized by situations. Traumatized by things. But God is a God of removal of reproach. Amen. He removes it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen? Amen? God is a God of release and breakthrough and break out. Amen. And it's time for you to break out of some things. Amen. 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 I remember when I was uh, seasons in my life that was some of the low points in my life. I remember my I lost my house. Paying nine years on this nice home. Lost it. And had to go into bankruptcy. And it was, not, it was a low point. At the same time, my sports car, my Mazda RX-8 I had, the engine blew on it. I, I was getting like a, up to about 30,000 miles. That's all that was on the car. And the engine blew at 30,000 miles. Boom, blew. So I end up like finding out that I just, I squeaked into the right position because another week or two I would have had to pay for that out of my own pocket but it was still on warranty so I got another engine and that engine blew Wow! less than 30,000 miles and this time it was a few weeks past so I had all this extra debt coming my way wow. my wife backslid and decided to walk away from her marriage my four kids walked away from God our church shrunk to eight people we were down to eight people and our worship team was a tin can <laughs> it was sitting right here by the pulpit Jerry was good about bringing a tin can and put a little recorder there to bring a little echo sound so we can have a little bit of worship. You know, a couple weeks, I think we did it for a couple weeks at least, We're trying to scramble and figure things out. Some low points, going through some very low points in, in my life and, and all these different things, but God, he pushed through those things. He helped me to hold on to my integrity and, and the reproach, let it roll off of me. Amen. Get that reproach off of my life. Amen. He rolled away those things. Amen. And now I'm stepping up into victory. I remember as a kid, I was in the woods and, and uh, there was a, a spider nest that I, I didn't see. And I stepped right into the spider nest and there was hundreds <laughs> of spiders little spiders and I had them all over me and I had like I had spiders crawling down my back and I was like yeah and sometimes you feel like a little overpowered by reproach a little bit overpowered it's like a bunch of little spiders all over you you got to shake it off people got to shake it off let it roll off of you get it off of you that's not the call of God on your life. 
is not to walk with shame. Amen. 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 He turned my story into glory. Amen. He turned my story into glory. Hallelujah. My message from a mess. I turned into a message instead of a mess. Amen. Started coming through some things. I'm captain. I'm not a. I'm not captive. Amen. Hallelujah. You're, you're a captain. Come on now. Yeah. You're not captive by all these different things. Amen? Amen. You're a source. You're not a sore. Amen? Amen? You are a force, not a farce. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Come on now. Mm -hmm. You see, now I'm a devil disturber. Mm -hmm. Before, he was just messing with me all the time, I, <laughs> yeah. and I wasn't standing up. <laughs> but now, I'm disturbing the devil. Amen. Getting him upset, trying to figure out what are we going to do with this dude? <laughs> he just keeps, for some reason, just keeps loving Jesus. Yeah. Even through the loss of a house, loss of a wife, kids going sideways, church with a tin can, all these different things going on. And I, and I said, you know, I'm not going to lose my integrity. I'm going to keep holding on to what God has for my life. I'm not going to beat myself up for my mistakes. Amen. And I'm going to keep moving forward. Mm. Because God wants me to declare over my life Amen. a roll back declaration. Yes. Amen. Roll back declaration yes. over my life of his blessings. Yes. Now I'm governed by his goodness. Mm. Governed by God's goodness. Coming through those things. There's a song that says, get up. And get out of the grave. Mm -hmm. Get up and get out of the grave. Amen. Some of us feel dead. Mm -hmm. Just dead and numb to so many things. Mm -hmm. Come on. Shake off those grave clothes and yeah. Yeah. put on the garment of praise Amen. instead of the spirit yeah. of heaviness. Right. You're alive. Yeah. Hand of God's on Lord. you. Yes. He's got his victory inside of you. Yeah. Do you realize it? Yes. Do you realize who you are? In Jesus Christ, Amen. you have all things you need for life and godliness through our knowledge of uh, him who called you by his own glory and goodness. Yes. He's got victory in store for the upright. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Arise and shine. Mm. Rise and shine for the light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen Amen. inside of you. Yes. Do you realize it? You realize it today. Amen. Your best days are still ahead. Oh, yes. The rest of your days are the best of your days. Amen. you got God with you in a powerful way. Amen. You can't help but win when you have God in your boat. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you got God with you, you're going to win. Yeah. Right. You're going to win. Right. Thing. You can't help but mm. winning. Yes. When you got the winner of all winners oh, yes. living inside of you. His name right. is Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 God will make you a reference point of success to other people. Amen. Instead of being a loser, you're going to be a reference point. People are going to look on how do people win? Oh, that's how they do it. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to follow Kirsten. I'm going to follow her lead. Yeah. The blessing that God's on that lady. Yeah. I want what she has. Yeah. I want the God that lives inside of her. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on. God's got his hand on each one of us. Amen. His blessing is all over yeah. our life. Amen. Yeah. Where you are does not define who you are. Mm -hmm. Where you are does not define who you are. Yes. Come on now. Yeah, right. yeah. Amen. Hebrews 10.35, so don't throw away your confidence. It will be richly rewarded. Amen. You need to persevere in verse... 36 says, you need to persevere so that when you've done the will of God, you will receive what he's promised. Yes. You'll receive what he's promised. What used to not allow me to sleep at night, now I can sleep. Now I can sleep. I'm not just weighed down with so much thought of things in my life because I got God 
with me and my God is for me and I'm coming through these things. I can sleep at night now. I can I can have a clear conscience coming through life. What he has. Don't fling away the fearless confidence. Hold on to it. Yes. Hold on to that confidence. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm not what I thought I was. What I am is I'm better than what I thought I was. Amen. With Christ in me. People are, you know, they define people sometimes by, by what they're going through. And you know what? That's not, not cool. You know, even in the Bible, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, when they, they talk about the lady with the issue of blood, they don't, her name, I don't know what her name is. In fact, who knows her name? It could be Martha or Mag, Maggie or something. But, but it says, the lady with the issue of blood, she had bleeding for 12 years. So they were defining this lady by the blood problem she had inside of her body. And so many times people are bleeding inside. And they're being defined by their bleeding, by their, by their hurts. Oh, do you remember the person with the big nose? Remember that one at church? Do you remember the one with the squeaky voice? That one? And you're calling people by, by things. And, oh, you remember the one that limps? Remember the one that has a crooked smile? Has a crooked smile? Do you remember that one? Yeah. They're calling us by that instead of defining us on who we are in Christ. You're a king. You're a queen of the Most High God. And you got a name. You got a name. And you need to be defined according to who you are, according to what he says. And he says, I've rolled the reproach off of your life. That reproach needs to come off. Come off today in Jesus' name. Come off of people. I just declare that. I'm going to read in Psalm 119, if we can turn there. Psalm 119, verse 22. Psalm 119, 22. Remove from me scorn and contempt, for I kept your statutes. Amen. I kept your statutes. Hallelujah. I, I encourage you today. Encourage each one of you. Hold on to the word of God. Amen. Hold on to his word. Hold on to your integrity. Let it roll off of you the remorse and the regret. Get that off of you today in Jesus' name. Amen. I just declare it being off of people. God, I just thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, God, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. We're free. We are free. And Lord, I just declare, Lord God, reproach is coming off of people. The reproach, because we got promised lands to step into. We got promised lands and blessings to come our way. And Lord, I just thank you for victory today in each one of our lives. Can you just breathe in life today? Just breathe in his presence. Breathe in his blessings. Jesus has taken your remorse. He has taken it off of you. Let him, let him just release you today. If there's anything holding you down and holding you back, you got future and blessing and better days ahead in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you for your word today. I thank you, God, for victory according to your word. Remorse, 
come off of people in the name of Jesus Christ. Roll back declaration today. We're declaring who Christ says we are. And walking in that. Yes, we had a lot of years of losing. A lot of years of losing. But now, we're stepping into winning. We're stepping into what God has for us. And what he says. And his blessings. And we pull it into our life. I pray that, God, that we would lift our eyes to the hills to where our help comes from. We would look up. I pray, God, your people would look up where Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father. Looking up for blessings. Looking up for God says who we are. In Jesus' name. So be it. No more. I should have, I could have, I would have. I don't know why I didn't. Why did I even allow myself to do that? Instead of all that, we're saying, I thank you, God, that I'm covered with real peace and real joy. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. In Jesus' name. Anyone today that might feel like you have a little bit of that whole feeling of holding on to, to some regrets and things in your life that, that you're feeling has not rolled off of you, I pray, Jesus, that you would just lift it even right now. Lift it right off of people. Come on. Let it come off, God. Let it come off of people. In Jesus' name. We serve a delivering God. He's a delivering God. He's a burden-lifting, yoke-destroying God. And we bring our burdens to you. We cast our care upon you because you care for us. In Jesus' name. Everybody said amen? Amen. amen. All right. We're going to start a service again in a few minutes. God bless you all. Amen. We'll see you in a couple minutes.